We have not been around for a few weeks here, so we're excited to show you guys our progress. But we got so many things going on, so this is going to be a bit of a, a jambalaya. We're Sean and Ash, and for the past year, we've been turning this 27-foot school bus into our first home. On wheels, that is. We demoed the whole thing and got a little creative at some points. As we near the end of this tiny home build, we're so excited to share our journey with you on our travels around the Americas. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Beautiful, beautiful day out in uh, sunny Florida. I'm here working on the back deck. Got some pressure treated four by eights. Just using these two and three quarter inch decking screws or wood to metal screws. They're working great. Uh, we actually use these for our deck on the roof. The intricate part of this job is making everything sit flat. So I've been notching out the wood, just, just using this. Would be a lot easier to use a table saw, but I don't have a table saw with me right now. So you gotta do what you gotta do. It's pretty tedious work, but it's coming out really nice. So I'll show you a little bit of that. I just need to install one last piece here that I'm gonna have to cut and I'm gonna have to notch it as well so it can fit over this little lip. But these all hinge up. I plan on having them connected so they can hinge at the same time and it gives us access to our little storage back here. Really stoked about that. These hinges got at Home Depot. They're nice, they're heavy duty, they're uh, coated so they're not gonna rust or anything. And I think it looks sick. Here's a first. Oh my god! I forgot to plug that. Oh my god! This is crazy. You wanna take a bath? What are you? I thought you <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it for a second. It's awesome, huh? Good pressure. Really good pressure. Great pressure. So first of all, we lost the tripod last week. We didn't lose it. Again, it's gone. Too. So we haven't been filming a ton of what's been going on. We put up a little poll on our Instagram the other day about whether we should build a second cabinet or not. I was voting for two, Sean voted for one, clearly. So here's cabinet one. I'm gonna paint them both green. We're gonna put matching little handles on. And then the kitchen is done. Well, that's not true. We're gonna tile the backsplash with something. But until that day. Done is fun. I think it looks cool, huh? I wanted to lacquer this, but Ashley's like, no, I'm <laughs> That's that's cute. You have an opinion. That's cute. You'll like it. Everybody say thanks, Sean, for filming how you did the stairs. Thanks, Sean. Sean framed out the stairs, and then you can sort of see like this paint right here that he added. Oh, it matches my nails. He painted it with a rust-oleum, and then just put some insulation on it to help with the sound. The next step is just to cover everything up with plywood and then we're gonna finish it with the click vinyl that we use for the whole flooring. Once we get all of our flooring down, that's kind of like what's holding us back right now and looking industrial. Once all of the flooring is in, it'll just look a lot more homey. We actually already have our plates in here. Ooh, they shut super Here's fast. Strong. Holy, you, you've been working out? Can I say something? A lot of the, you know, woodworking we do, if I had like an endless supply of money, I would love to make all the grains match and go in the same direction and like be connected as one. But, you know, it's just hard. So just go easy on us, all right? I understand. For the past two weeks or so, we have had the bus in Orlando at a mechanic the day that we bought the bus. We had it here. Hernan from SOS Diesel in Orlando. He checked it out for us, did like a really cheap engine diagnostic, and he was like, hey, you guys, before you go out on the road, 
bring it back to me and I'll get the whole thing road ready for you. That's exactly what we did and it's kind of like a full circle moment. Hopefully the last time we need some mechanic work for a while. No more diesel leak. He gave us a new alternator, I believe. He fixed some of the suspension on the tires. The leak no longer exists. No more leak? No more leak. Love you, drive safe. So this is pretty exciting. We just drove like two hours here. Now we have a two hour drive home. And I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. What's up guys? <laughs> we are making some changes in the bedroom as you can probably see. For the majority of the build, We've been going for this all wood, really clean, sort of modern look with the natural wood going on. We got to the bedroom, we just noticed there's a ton of mistakes. So we agreed maybe it would be even cooler if we painted the bedroom a different color and that way when you look to the back of the bus, it's like this pop of brightness. I hope it comes out okay because if not there's nothing we can do so what I'm gonna do today is finish priming this back wall here and I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick out the paint something that's a little bit of an off-white Oh no, don't say y'all. Hey guys, Sean here. Ash is uh, playing cameraman today, just for this shot. We have not been around for a few weeks here, so we're excited to show you guys our progress, but we got so many things going on. So this is gonna be a bit of a, a jambalaya of a video this week, a little video jambalaya for you. Get on the stairs today. We're gonna be doing some more painting in the back room. Excited to show you. A lot of things. I want to do like a mini tour. Do you want to do like a little walkthrough? Yeah, we can do that. Since it's been a couple weeks since we uploaded a video and we've just been working on a ton of stuff in the bus, we wanted to give you a little progress update and give you a quick tour of the bus, show you some things that might look different and some things we've gotten done. We also did a little clean out today, so it looks extra nice. Um, okay. And action. Okay, so something new that you guys haven't seen yet, are not quite done, Sean's gonna finish this up today. So we ripped out all of that original bus flooring and put down some insulation. We painted it with Rust-Oleum. Kinda got beat up because it was at the mechanic for a while, so they must've just ripped it. But it's okay, come on in. Okay, I'm trying to only show you guys what's new because you've seen the bus before. We'll do like a final tour once everything is totally finished. Right over here, we used a beautiful piece of wood and polyed it on top of our dashboard. Something I'm super proud of. You guys have obviously seen couch cushions. That Ashley made. They got a little stain. Did they? Gone. I'm really proud of these valances that Sean made the frame, but then I covered them with fabric. This is like painter's canvas, which I thought was really cool. It sort of matches the same color of the couch, but has a slightly different texture. And we wanted it to cover the top part of the shades. Uh, Johnny's, I would call them Johnny. And then the best part is that they cover all the ugly stuff. So if you look on this side, we just have a lot of mistakes in between and above the windows. We have yeah. all these screws. If you turn the lights on, it looks cooler at night, but it just covers up the lights and gives it a nice glow. Our bus got a little glow up. Yeah. So I built this by myself, no Ikea needed. As you can see, it's not professional grade, but it works just fine. It was pretty easy, and for the most part, I used to the 90 degree angle squares. For a lot of it, I just eyed out, I'll be totally honest with you. And it looks good. These are magnets, right, Ashley? They just help it stay closed. It just makes it a nice click seal. The old click seal, that's pretty satisfying, if you ask me. Who's that? <gasps> This is just the primer right now. Today, I'm gonna to be painting it with 
bleached linen. That's my job today, is painting this entire bedroom. Hopefully we get it done so that I can show you guys the custom mattress that was made for us. So we also have some exciting news for you too. Yes, yeah, so we are going back to our old stomping grounds, New Jersey. We have decided that our official takeoff date is gonna be the first week of June. We're hoping to move in leave all in the same week hopping right. from one set of parents to another just mooching off the system just, um, <laughs> for, just for a few more months we are going to be living in the bus on my parents property we're gonna get the ac done in there we're gonna finish the bathroom which is like the biggest project if you guys haven't seen we rarely show you be because there's nothing there we haven't done anything in the bathroom like it pretty much yeah. looks exactly the same as when we gutted it yeah, I have five brothers at home, not to mention everyone I went to school with. So we should knock that out in like, I'm hoping a week. We'll probably have the floor done before we leave, I'm hoping. To be honest, we've been very overwhelmed. After Jersey, we are like full-blown nomads. We're actually planning on taking a quick trip up to Maine, to a little town that I visited many a time. It is so stunning and I want Sean to see it. Go to Acadia National Park, some salmon sticks and some <laughs> lobster and some oh my God, fish and chips rolls. and Maine blueberries and all the good Maine stuff. So yeah. you can count on after Jersey this summer, which will pretty much wrap up the end of all of our build series. We're going to be like a full-time travel channel and just share our, and our adventures with you we're so excited we're, and we're excited up. for you to come with us not only share it with you guys but have the footage for the rest of our lives show it to our kids make sure if you are not already that you are subscribed make sure that you like this video and leave us a comment to let us know if you have questions about our upcoming journey if you have suggestions about where we should travel to have an awesome week <laughs> oh no <Wrong> <laughs>